Mathematics is not about numbers, equations, computations, or algorithms. It is about understanding. So let's learn and enjoy Mathematics. Our lesson is about evaluating polynomial functions. First, we need to identify what is linear functions. Linear functions are first degree of polynomial function defined by f of x equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers, and m should not be equal to 0. If the value of m equals to 0, this is not linear but constant functions. How about quadratic functions? Quadratic functions, this is a second degree polynomial function defined by f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equals to 0. If the value of a equals to 0, this is not quadratic functions but linear functions. Let us identify now what is polynomial functions. In general, a polynomial function is defined by f of x equals a sub n x to the m plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x to the n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub 1 x to the 1 plus a sub 0 where a sub 0 and a are real numbers so this is a sub 0 and all a that is real numbers and a sub n should not be equals to 0. If the value of a sub n, a sub n, a sub n equals to 0, and n should be non-negative. So, hindi pwede magkaroon ng negative exponent. If that is the case na nagkaroon ng 0 at yung n nagkaroon ng negative, this is not polynomial functions. We're in a sub n, x to the n, this one, that could be our leading term. a sub n, this is the leading coefficient. And then a sub 0, that could be our constant term. In evaluating a polynomial functions, this can be evaluated using direct substitution. The given p of x equals 4x squared plus 3x minus 11. Let us substitute the value of x by 3. So, p of 3. Let us substitute 3 to the given equation. So, that becomes equals 4 times 3 square plus copy, replace x by 3 minus 11. And then, first we need to copy 4 and then 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. 3 times 3, so plus 9 minus 11. 4 times 9, that is equal to 36. 9 minus 11, subtract, so that becomes negative 2. So 36 minus 2, that is equal to 34. So the P of 3 equals 34. How about if we need to identify the P of negative 2? Let us replace negative 2 to the given equation. So that becomes copy 4, replace x by negative 2, and then square. Copy positive 2, replace x by negative 2, and then copy negative 11. Bring down 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6, minus 11. 4 times 4, that is 16. Negative 6 minus 11, add, copy the sign of the larger number, so that is negative 16. 16 minus 17, that is subtract, copy the sign of the larger number, so that is negative 1. So the P of negative 2, that is negative 1. 
How about letter B? P of x equals 3x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus 4x minus 5. Let us replace the value of x by negative 1 to the given equation. So that becomes copy 3. Replace x by negative 1 raised to the fifth power. Copy negative 2. Replace x by negative 1 to the third power. Copy 4. Replace x by negative 1 and then copy negative 5. So bring down 3. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So negative 1 for a fifth times. So that becomes negative 1. So this is odd number. So ang kukunin natin, that is negative 1. Copy negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That is negative 1. 4 times negative 1. That is negative 4. Copy negative 5. 3 times negative 1. That is negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2. Negative 4, negative 5, add, copy the sign of the larger number, so that is negative 9. So negative 3 plus 2 minus 9, so if we solve, that is negative 3 plus 2, that is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 9, the answer is negative 10. So the P of negative 1, that is negative 10. How about if we need to replace the value of x by 3? P of 3. So copy 3. Replace x by 3. Raise to the fifth power. Copy negative 2. Replace x by 3. And then Q. Copy positive 4. Replace x by 3 and then copy negative 5. Bring down 3 and then 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is equal to 243. Bring down negative 2. 3 times 3 times 3. That is 27. 4 times 3. That is equal to positive 12. And then bring down negative 5. 3 times 243, that is equal to 729. Negative 2 times 27, that is negative 54. 12 minus 5, subtract. So the answer, that is equal to positive 7. Afterwards, let us subtract and then add. First, we need to subtract. 729 minus 54, that is equal to 675. Plus 7, that is equal to 682. So the P of 3 equals 682. Let us answer each problem in number 1. If P of x equals 5x squared plus 3x minus 1, find the P of negative 1 and P of 0. Let us replace the value of x by negative 1 to the given equation. So that becomes P of negative 1 equals, bring down 5, replace x by negative 1, and then square, bring down 3, replace x by negative 1, copy negative 1. Afterwards, let us solve. Bring down 5, negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1, and then 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3 minus 1. 5 times 1, that is equal to 5, negative 3 minus 1, add Copy the sign of the larger number, so that is negative. So add, so that is negative 4. 5 minus 4, that is equal to positive 1. So the P of negative 1, that is equal to 1. How about the P of 0? Let us replace the value of x by 0 to the given equation. So that becomes 5 times 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 1. So it means 5 times 0, that is equal to 0. 3 times 0, that is 0 minus 1. 0 plus 0 is 0 minus 1, that is equal to negative 1. So the P of 0, that is equal to negative 1. How about number 2? What is P of negative 3? If P of K equals 3K, minus k cubed plus 2. Let us replace the value of k by negative 3 to the given equation. So that becomes 3. Replace x by negative 3. So 3 times negative 3 
minus replace x by negative 3 and then q. So minus negative 3q plus 2. 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. Bring down negative. Negative 3 cube is, it means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So that is negative 27 plus 2. First, we need to identify the value of what could be the sign. Negative times negative, that is positive 27. So negative 9 plus 27 copy positive 2. Afterwards, let us solve. Negative 9 plus 27, subtract, copy the sign of the larger number, so that is positive, subtract, so that becomes negative 9 plus 27, that is 18. 18 plus 2, that is equal to 20. So the P of negative 3 equals 20. How about number 3? If the given is p of h equals negative h square plus 2h plus 4, find the p of negative 2. Let us replace negative 2 to the given equation. So that becomes negative the quantity negative 2 square. Bring down 2, replace h by negative 2. So plus 2 times negative 2 and then copy positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is negative times negative, that is positive 4, times negative outside, that is negative 4. Positive 2 times negative 2, that is different sign, so that is negative 4, and then bring down positive 4. As you can see, we may cancel 4 minus 4, that is equal to 0, so the final answer is negative 4. If we want to try to solve using left to right, negative 4, and the negative 4, that is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 4. The answer also, that is equal to negative 4. So the P of negative 2, that is negative 4. Let us practice what you have learned. Instruction. Use direct substitution to find the value of the given polynomial function. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.